Before this video starts, I want to thank all the people that are supporting my channel, even though I'm such a small YouTuber. It really means a lot, and I really appreciate it. All the people like leaving nice comments, all the likes on the videos, and all the views. It really means a lot, even though I'm not even like that big on the platform. So thank you all for supporting me, and enjoy the video. Yeah, so basically, um, we're decorating this level now, because we did hit our goal of 25 likes. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna decorate um, this slaughterhouse level. Basically, we just need to start with some basic colors, like just a bunch of reds. Okay, and then I already I already put this thing down here. It basically has just a bunch of alpha triggers for different opacities. So yeah, we have that too. So basically, we just start decoing. Let's do this um thing right here. Put that red, and then. That on two. Basically, this is gonna be our base for the level. Black blocks and put them like this, like that. And then for the inner deco, um, I saw this um, kind of like in a rock house. It was basically the same thing as slaughterhouse, but like with bigger blocks like this. Kind of want to try that. Want something like that. And then switch it up a little bit sometimes, like do this. We're gonna test some on this, test some things. Like that? Yeah, that looks good. And then maybe do like the same thing but like on the bottom here with a less like opacitated thing maybe? I don't know. Yeah, like that, that looks good. Then I feel like we should have something in the background kind of. Like, maybe something like this? Like that, but like, super low brightness. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. And then, what should we do for like, the foreground underneath? Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna do 3 lines. I'll do something like this. Like that glow, and then put it in front of it. Turn the brightness down like 20. Like that. Yeah, like that, that looks good. <clears throat> now, we're gonna work on a spike design now. And then, I remember seeing a spike design that I actually really liked. It's like, kind of basic though. That, maybe. Yeah, that looks good. And then like, for the structures, we'll do the same thing that we did here. Like that. And then get this, copy that. And then I'm just gonna like copy and paste these around. And then do something like this. Go to that layer and then we had to add glow. Okay, and then we're gonna put some 3D lines. It's like this, right? Like that. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I'm actually gonna link these spikes together. Let's go do that. Uh, and then like, I'm gonna do this part in a second, but then we need to make this like fall, right? Yeah, like that. I feel like we just keep it like going down, uh, going down once, and that would look good. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do these ground spikes first. Just delete the old ones. Kind of like this, like that. I'm just keep copy and pasting it. That's like the ground spike. But then, like, there's glow behind it to make it, like, actually go in front. Kinda like that, yeah, and that looks good. Yeah, that works. <laughs> no way, that looks so cool, too. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do this real quick. And then, what should we do, like, right here? That's the thing. Yeah, like that, that looks good. And go here. I want to erase this glow. So basically, we need to do something like this, but then use fake. Like that, paste the colors, and that looks good, yeah. And then I'm gonna fill it up with this, but then copy the values of that, paste it to these. Like that, and then same thing with these, just copy and paste them around here. That looks good, and then we can add some glow. 
Can you please just like... Look, just like that. <laughs> Why won't they do it? My word, bro. Was it that hard? I'm gonna do 3D lines. Let me just delete these. And then, uh, delete that. Delete all that. And grab the spike. It was like that, that, and that, right? I wanna, like, add a two spike jump, like, right here. Okay, now I wanna start, I wanna start working on the pillars now. So you can easily just do, use this thing. Boom, a pillar. And then we can just copy and paste this, like, around here. Oh shoot, we just, we forgot the 3D lines, I'm so stupid. And then I just literally forgot the glow, too. Now we can copy and paste this around. And just delete all this. This will be eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Perfect. Well, I feel like this one should go like that, and then this one should just go up one. But then I want this one to be more in the middle, like that. Okay, that's actually looking really good. Okay, what, what, would glow beams look, look good down here? Like that. Let me go detail, like, down... T not detail, the brightness. Down a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. It's actually turning out amazing, wow. Like that. Okay, no, 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 that's not supposed to be 7, though. Like that. And then before I forget, um, I want to do this thing. It's like you have this. Yeah, like that. And it's behind everything, basically. Like that, but I feel like these should be more, like, darker. And then here, we're gonna go back to that layer, and then it was like some sort of, like, galaxy kind of thing. But, like, it was with the red glow. It was on, like, two or something? Three? Yeah, probably three. How should I do stars? Like, just like this, right? And then, like, you kind of, like, rotate it like that. Kind of like this. On top of that. But then is it like that, maybe? Is it? That actually doesn't look that bad. Let's make this all like that. Let's get some pieces out like that. Yeah, that does look good. But then I want to make a brightness of this higher. I'll just probably put it on that one, like that. Yeah, that does look good. This will all be on the group 12 because we'll be moving this over here and just sit up copy and paste move back one thousand or no, ten thousand at one thousand just normal dude that looks amazing oh my gosh that looks incredible okay we gotta do a saw blade design after saw blade we'll do club step monster saw blades i'm thinking just something like can we just use this one like that, but then put on that layer. One layer above. And then we're gonna grab, where's the object? This thing. Actually, the looks, looks really good. Put a black glow behind. Like that, that looks beautiful. Basically, I'm gonna copy this and put it over here. And then take this and put it here. Well, this first part's already looking amazing. 
So, we're gonna have to do the club step monster now, sadly. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. So, now we gotta give him the eyes, though. On that, and put a piece of glow on each. Like that. That's beautiful. For this, I kind of want to do something like this. Hold up. I want to make it like fade out, kind of. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to grab this. Like that, perfect. I feel like it's missing something, though. We get, then we get something like that. But then we can... On the, on the 10 layer, I'm gonna put something like... This. Like that, it looks good, yeah. I would say this part's done, honestly. I'm lagging really badly. So basically, um, I did this part, so I'm probably gonna do this part right now. But I'm probably gonna time lapse it because it's basically me doing the same thing. So yeah. So yeah, I mean, it looks amazing. Like, I, f I think I did, a, like, an incredible job on it, too. I'm definitely gonna finish this level, and then I'm probably gonna nerf a couple parts, but I plan on finishing the level and, po like, possibly verifying it. I don't know, but, like, there's a chance I might, so... So yeah, I'm gonna I'm show the showcase right now. Before the video ends, I do need a name for the level, and if you guys have any good ideas, just post in the comments. I'll be looking through them, and I'll choose one that best fits the level. And besides that, thank you guys for watching.